Hi, hi, YouTube. Welcome back for part two of Detroit Become Human. Uh, we left off with quite the, uh, quite the, the situation last time. Uh, all my characters pretty much seemed deceased. But, uh, Marcus was still alive. We, we ended the, the day with him coming out of a junkyard and putting himself back together and then getting a really cool Batman cloak and then walking off uh like one hell of a dad you know so that was cool it gives me hope that connor's still around because when we saw connor last he had a bullet in his head so that's not good that's not the ideal most important thing is not to live but to have a reason to live uh, yeah you you tell him sister that's you tell a quote him from jean jono a french writer uh, thank you i didn't ask but thank you so Shall we play the game? Into the game chat. So yeah, Ma like Marcus, Marcus is like a badass now, basically. He's gonna go lead the robot. Oh, Connor is alive. Spoiler alert, Connor's alive, look at him. He's doing great. Sometimes you, it just, you just take a bullet to the head. Aw, uh, thank you for the bit, Harka. Haru Kakigami, I just cheered one bit. Please get better, Pommy Pomlet Pat. Look at, oh, is this robot heaven? Is that what's going on here? We're in robot heaven? You know, that makes sense. We did get shot. And there are a lot of white birds everywhere. So, from what I'm really understanding of this game so far, uh, there's three main characters, but I feel like Connor's, like, the, the main character, main character or anything. Like, I, I feel like, I was thinking about this the other day, I was like, it's weird that they always send, or that every time we're with Connor, we just happen to be a, a robot murder, where, like, the robot went rogue, and I was like, that's a coincidence. Well, obviously, it's not a coincidence, because the company is sending him, like, okay, I was thinking this, dude. How is this company getting away with this many robot murders? Like, how many lobbyists do they have that their robots are just killing humans left and right and they haven't been, like, sued out of their fucking mind yet? But they have... But Connor clearly goes and, like, he's like the, the lawyer the insurance company sends. You know, kind of clears shit up for him. So he's got to be like one of their best robots because he's the robot they send when the other robots fuck up. I feel like I'm going in a fucking circle. Find Amanda. Who's Amanda? Oh, true, dude. The robots or the birds aren't real, so they're robots too. Is this grave, Amanda? Oh, it's my old body. What the fuck? Connor Mark One. The fact that there's more room here like this, chat, it makes me think this isn't the last time Connor's gonna die. Let's see. Where the fuck is Amanda? Bruh. Bruh. Amanda! I think that's her over there. I see her. Dude, that reminds me of, like, the old Sega vs. Nintendo wars back in the day. Yeah, I found, well, allegedly, I found Connor 1's tombstone, which means we're Connor 2. So I guess this isn't Connor. This is Connor Mark 2.
How am I not finding this? <laughs> I feel like I'm going in a giant circle and they're in the center of it. Bro, great start. I can't even figure out where to go. Okay. We're on to him now. You must be Amanda. Hello. Hello, Amanda. Connor. Alexis, thank you for the follow. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. Oh no. The new deviants could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. Man I hates me. To. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It would be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the deviant? Um, he was traumatized. He showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the deviancy case. What do you make of him? Uh, unpleasant, dysfunctional, intriguing, unsure. He's intriguing. I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? Adapt, friendly. I will be friendly with I him. Will try to establish a friendly relationship. Oh, she doesn't like that. Me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Damn. So I was kind of right. It's a little more dramatic, though. Alright, so Connor Mark II. Oh, we gotta find Lieutenant Anderson. I don't like Amanda. She seemed kind of mean. She's probably just paranoid because she knows she's going to jail for the rest of her life for a bunch of androids she made that are killing people. You might be in shock. Just, just Tensions in the Arctic have reached yeah. a new level. A Russian carrier and an American patrol boat reported to have clashed last night. Sure. Several oh, shit. shots were exchanged, apparently with no damage or casualties to either side. The Minister for Defense, Dennis Riggs, has spoken of nice. intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the region, particularly Sweden and Canada, have called for military forces to withdraw and an international conference. Bro, why is like this so shit's happening like no all the time in real life Moscow too? Or Washington. We'll keep you informed minute by minute. As the situation develops. Well, you're in a video game or real life world spot. No access without prior authorization. Hey. The hell? But I'm Connor Mark II, bitch. Hello, sir. I need prior authorization. Nope. Okay. Nice to meet you. Hi, hi. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. <laughs> yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. All right. 
We got the authorization, ma'am. Hello. Alright, can we be friends? I don't think they want to be my friend. Alright, well. Moving on. Oh, fuck. I gotta figure out which desk is his. Let me guess. It's gonna be the one that's a fucking mess. Or looks like he hasn't been here in a year. Oh, it's definitely this one. I knew it was gonna be a fucked up desk. Yup. That was an easy call. Blink and Morse code? Yeah, that's what Excuse they seem like they were doing. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. <laughs> I guess we're waiting. Welcome back, Nikki. Explore new office. <laughs> I got bored within like 10 seconds. So we gotta learn about Anderson. Alright. Okay, I have a... Uh, oops, sorry. I've read all these books, but they've been kind of like boring, I guess. So we won't read them anymore. I don't think there's a lot to gain from reading those. Oh, we're just going to snoop his desk. This is his iPod. Wonder what he listens to. Well, hell yeah. What a badass. Call Hank Anderson. Uh. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. <laughs> Yo. <Deep>. Whatever. <laughs> Let's leave a message. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlock. I'm changing my it's almost my voice mailbox message to that right after stream. Leave a message if that's what turns you on. Clues to analyze. We don't bleed the same color. How's my driving call? 555. Five, five. I don't care. You're, if you're not a bartender, then go away. Detroit police dismantle a network of red ice dealers. Oh, so he, like, is known for a big bust. Detective Anderson promoted to the rank of lieutenant. New record seizure of red ice. He reminds me of, like, uh, Hank from Breaking Bad. Uh, let's see. There are matches from a bar. Uh, basketball hat. Uh, dog hair. Yo, he's got dog hair. Let's go. Red Ice Task Force. So that was like 10 years ago, that bus. So like... Yo, biscuits and gravy. Let's go, Nikki. Donuts, hell yeah, I love donuts. Shit, I'm a real donut donut eater. It sucks they're so high in calorie. I can't eat them all the time or I would. Uh, he's got like a little bonsai tree that looks dead. Cold coffee. Hey, what's up, dude? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Oh God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed, but Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Hank, in my office. Oh, you know we're coming with. Oh. Alright. 
Hank's about to get bitched at. I've got ten new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. <laughs> Old ladies. Now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation. He just redeemed daily punch. I want you to investigate. Thanks for the punch HD. I'll get your punch right after this. Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not a <laughs> plastic prick. Hey. You are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. <laughs> this conversation is over. <laughs> oh man. Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. He's playing StarCraft. Hi, Hank. That sounds like it went well. So, back to the investigation then, buddy? Oh, yeah, I gotta get, uh, if you wanna hand me your card real quick, HD, I'll punch you. Get punched. Get punched. 17 punches, you're almost at 20. Um, let's see. New Connor. Understanding. Pragmatic. Constructive. So we understand I get it. the impression my presence causes you some inconvenience, Lieutenant. I'd like you to know I'm very sorry about that. <laughs> I'm sorry my existence pisses you off. Hell yeah, Harka. I can't wait for the next animal noise you win. Partners are positive. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? <laughs> no one's using that one. <laughs> Hell yeah, I get this to the cross from. Hey buddy, we're like best friends now. I'm gonna play footsie with them. Uh, dog, basketball, music, and I. Let's talk about, uh, music. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. <laughs> it's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. <laughs> So about basketball You're a next. Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Oh, oops. Sorry, Hank. Fowlers, hours, anti-androids. Let's talk about the Fowlers. I don't know what Have that means. Captain Fowler for long. Oh, it's the captain. Yeah. Too long. <laughs> Too long. Uh, let's talk about his d poor doggy. The dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. Sumo? I call him Sumo. I like that name. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, 
Is there any reason in particular you despise me? <laughs> Yo, I wish I could be that bold, dude. There is one. Okay. <laughs> I probably shouldn't ask that question. Hey, chat. I was just wondering, you know, between me and you, chat. Is there any particular reason why you despise me? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Well, that kind of sucks because I feel like uh, <laughs> we kind of just like got back to square one there. We had two good and two shitty ones. Let me get my list. Wow. I stole your empanada. I did not. That is false. That is a lie. That is slander. How do I scroll? Looks like mouse wheel. Okay. Oh, look. Uh, she's here now. Suspect for the homicide of Todd Williams. You know, fuck Todd. Um. Oh, that's, uh, what's his face? That was Marcus. Leo, that was the kids, that was the son we fucking pushed over in the statue. I don't know who this is. I don't know who that is. Oh, that's the guy from the beginning, though. The one that we got shot 17 times. Harka loves me. Thank you, Harka. Let's scan all files. Two hundred and forty-three files. Jesus Christ! The first dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX four hundred is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. Let's go, Hank. I'll buy you a beer on the way. Direct professional understanding. Let's be understanding. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them. And hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? Let me piss him off. I'm sorry, Hank. Um, resign the mission. Threaten. Determined. I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Oh, damn. Yeah. This asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. The things are going to get nasty. I'm sorry. Um, Lieutenant, I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. That didn't go so well, chat. He's a little ornery. I like him, though. Alright, I think that could have gone better. Hank? <laughs> Hank is mad. Shit, Hank's mad, dude. <laughs> It looks like everything all circles back to here. I don't think we could have changed much. Other than, like, getting, uh... Maybe getting some more points. I would have liked to be his friend. But I think he hates me. Alright, who are we with? This has got to be Kara, right? Mirrors all my social interactions. <laughs> Fathers be hangs looks like my dad. Oh my gosh, really? Uh, he is very unhappy. He's a little unhappy. Change appearance. We gotta cut our hair. We gotta get new clothes. All right, throw her over there. God, I forgot we have a kid now. Chat. 
Man, the whole point of being a femboy was supposed to be I can't get pregnant. Now I have a kid. God damn it. How did this happen to me? Alright. Let's go steal. Let's go steal while she's asleep and she can't, like, yell at me. How the fuck is the... Did that guy not call the police? The dude literally across the street. There's a crowbar. Tell me that guy went home. Police are patrolling the area. Probably because I robbed that place last night. <laughs> okay, so yeah, maybe they did. Maybe they did call the police. Uh, what we got over here? In the, in the trunk? In the old trunky trunk? Need a, to force it open. Well, there was a crowbar over there, so. There was the old crowbie. Can't wait to bash someone's head in with this. Alright. Ooh, some new clothes. Alright. How we looking? Alright, we look pretty cool. Find human clothes. Check. Cut hair. Okay, there's some over here. Ah, perfect. Tire scissors. Dude, we're pretty good at being a criminal, dude. I have to hold it. Yo, we look kind of good with the short hair. Uh, what color hair are we going with? White? We gotta go with white hair, right? Like mine? Right here it is, shit. Yeah, can we hide this? Oh, we can take it out. All right, cool. Oh, fuck. Hell yeah. We're gonna like probably spook her here. We're not gonna look the same, are we? Yo, chat, how cool would it be if you just change your hair color like that? Alice. Wake up! Wake up, Alice. Wake up! Squirt wasn't a nightmare. Wasn't. No. Killing your dad? No, 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 no. no. It, wasn't a nightmare. it was more like a happy dream, honestly. How do you feel? I'm cold. Not really what I meant. What are we gonna do now? That android we saw yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. The train passes just on the other side of the road. The station can't be far. You feel okay to walk a little? Let's go then. Yo, this kid is traumatized as fuck. We should cut that kid's hair too. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. We're looking very human. Let's climb the fence. Okay, we can't. Are we gonna have to just like walk out there and hope for the best? 
Yeah, don't mind us. We're just a happy family who was sleeping in a car. The police are on our trail. Alright. That's all for now. Oh shit, it's him. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? <laughs> We're still neutral with Hank, at least. He doesn't fucking hate us. It took the first bus that came along and stayed at the end of the line. Its decision wasn't planned. It was driven by fear. Androids don't feel fear. Deviants do. They get overwhelmed by their emotions and make irrational decisions. All right, well, that still doesn't tell us where it went. Sounds like me. It didn't have a plan, and it had nowhere to go. Maybe it didn't go far. Maybe. <laughs> We're literally like fucking ten yards away. Reach the train station. God, we gotta escape Connor? We're not getting away. Connor's a badass. Sneak past the cops. Cop. Cop. Kid. Come on, dude. Stay with me. Come on, kid, dude. God damn, dude. Keep moving, keep moving. All right, kids, stay close, stay close. Yeah, Connor's not gonna catch us. He's probably just gonna get shot in the head again. Holy shit. I peed a little there, chat. Don't jaywalk now. Fuck, what are we gonna do here? Q. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, God damn. Alright, come on, kid. How close are we? Oh my god, so far! Got another cop. We're gonna probably have to hide somewhere. Hide here. God damn, there's so many cops. All I do is rob a store. Oh, we just phase clip through that, man. We'll find it sooner or later. No, you won't. Let's go. Hide and go seek champion. Let's go. Do I make it? If Connor's leaving, that's a good sign. Connor's my main threat. Oh, fuck. We did it. Cop right behind me. Are you okay? She's like, yeah, but I, I shit my pants. You know, she hasn't used the restroom since we escaped. Boy, I didn't rob that store. I mean, yeah, the kid did try to warn me. Okay. This probably could have gone real bad, judging by this this tree here. 
Oh, I see. It starts out differently depending on where... I'm guessing one of these is if I was in the hotel. And one of these was if I got in the house. To be honest, I think being in the parking lot was probably... The easiest. Yeah, these other ones look really complicated. I'm kind of glad I just fucking slept in the car now. Is everyone in chat being wholesome? What the fuck happens here? Look at this one, chat. I'm guessing this is if I don't reach the train safely. Look at all this shit that goes down. Look at that. I think I just got to the fucking train. When I do beat this game, I want to, like, look up all the different endings. Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Although police assistant androids have... Yo, it's my boy Marcus. Yo, Marcus looks cool, dude. So Marcus is going to see some guy named Jericho, right? Because that's what all the fucking broken androids told him to do. Yeah, this guy. So what is this? Is that like a Pokemon card? What you They missed me. You spare some change? I don't got any change, bruh. Was the same as a graffiti? Some colors. What am I supposed to do here? Next graffiti. I don't know what that means. Next graffiti. Find the graffiti. Oh, it's this one over here, I think. Hold right click to decipher the, the graffiti. Clue updated. Alright, I'll have some coffee, Haruka. So did they leave, like, a secret code in the graffiti? I gotta find the lion. I gotta go find the lion graffiti now. Yo, Android Boy Band? Here for you? Bro, this is exactly how the, the future's gonna go down, dude. I can't take the stairs? Chat, I can't wait to see an Android Boy Band. I wonder why, like, they said that the Deviant stuff oh, sorry. Excuse me. started in, um, Detroit and spread. I wonder what that means. Also, notice people are being nicer to me now they don't think I'm an android. Fucking humans are so hypocritical. Space need to talk. Why don't let me talk? Why does the talk thing come up and go away? Here we go. Do you know where Jericho is? Thank you for using CyberLife's Android parking service. Spaces are available. Here's the lion. 
There's the symbol. Okay. Where this one's at. Oh, there it is. You cross the road. Let me cross. Oh, I have to wait for this to turn green. Really? Let me jaywalk. Let's be on my way. It really won't let me walk on the road. That's crazy. Oh, yo, there's cops over there. That's not good. There we go. There we go. There's another one, a little robot boy. I wonder if it like breaks my programming to jaywalk. You know me, just being a good citizen. Do you have to press this to go? No, you just gotta wait. Okay, where's the last graffiti? Graffiti. I'm looking for a little robot graffiti. Anyone seen it? It's gotta be over here, right? Can I just jaywalk? Good. Jaywalking. J J walking. Is this it? Alright, we might be lost. I might have gotten lost in the big city. Turn back, y'all find the graffiti. I am definitely lost now. Fuck. Um, hmm, where was this one? Let's go over here. The light, the light is green. Nope. Chat, anyone see the graffiti? We're looking for this little robot man on a white building of brick. Sure. Not sure. You hear about that artist Carl Is it that white brick building here? Nope. What the fuck? It's gotta be that one then. That's white brick. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. This is white brick. This is where I came from. That was a lion. Okay, and that pink building over there was the one after that, so it's gotta be somewhere over here. Man, I don't, how am I struggling? Why are we struggling? White brick. Beep beep. 
Beep beep. I need a little horn on my Android. Meep meep. Oh, there it is. I see it now. Bullshit. That was hard to find. Wine. A do. A tree. Oh, there's fucking wood in the way, really? Really wood in the way? How do I move the wood? Kick it. Alright, there we go. Clue updated. Uh, look for the one with the giant face. How can we miss that? Right over here. Alright, closer. One. It's on the other side. Find a way to reach the roof. We're gaming? I don't understand why he has to scan this stuff to find Jericho. the last one. Oh, I see it now. Tricky. It was white. Sparkle. Yo, can we make that jump? I like how that little platform literally looks like it's gonna break for sure. Use falling route. Okay, so that's not going to work. Yeah, that'd be an OP power. To, like, being able to, like, kind of, like, see in the future of, like, how whatever you're about to do will, like, change stuff. So we gotta get up here for the next one. Ew. What the fuck? It was through a dead android over here? It's fucked up. I'd love to know the consequences of my actions. Exactly. Alright, let's see let's see how this is gonna fuck up. If we go this way, what happens? parkour would not be solid enough understood so that's not the way to go well this way okay we ball and then if we go this way that's not good that's not ideal
What if we do our, our happy wall run again? Ooh, look at that ninja warrior shit. Let's try this one. Come pew. Yeah, there we go. That's the way. He just immediately fucks it up. Parkour. I don't know what the graffiti looked like at this point. I got too distracted by how crazy that was. A yellow mural. Oh shit, is there a dead dude? What the fuck? What the fuck? I think it's this. Hi Harka! Thank you for the bitty. Haru Kakigami, I just cheered one bit. I appreciate you. Uh, let me look at the thing again. It's like this angle. Have to replicate replicate the angle like perfectly or something. From I literally can only see this pillar. So being like right here. I don't understand. I don't understand. Oh, I have to make the symbol out of this. That's so stupid. Um, some wood? Some broken wood? Is that here? They're gonna line some up again? No, this can't be here. It's a different angle. I think it's the other side. Turn around. How do I turn around? Well, let me scan. This is definitely it, right? I gotta come up here first. Oh, I was just saying that's the way to go, okay. Jericho. Reach the boat. Oh, damn. That seems safe. That looks OSHA approved to me. Uh, yep, that's fucked. Confirmed. Well, let's see. How else you get over there? We just jump. Oh, so it shows it's good? Oh, okay. Perfect. I'm glad we have a couple OSHA representatives in the chat. Uppies? Uppies chat?
Watch me just hit one of these chains and fall. Oh god. Interesting. We fell. Did I lose my cool coat? Damn, I only had that cool coat for like a day. I can't wait for some half-dead android to fucking jump scare me. Locked. Hmm. Ah yes, the torture room. One of these doors has to be open, right? Right? Oh my god. What the fuck? There's zombie androids now? This is a little creepy, a little bit, a little unsettling. Just a teensy little bit. God. We didn't make it. Oh, fuck. Don't worry, chap. I'll just grab someone's eye again like last time. It'll be fine. Oh, hi. Another guy who. Welcome to Jericho. Welcome to Jericho. Meet the people of Jericho. What else could have happened? Something not great could have happened here, I'm guessing. Or whatever the fuck happens up here. I wonder if one of those is getting hit by a car in the street. Yo, the Chipkin store, dude. Some chicken. Fucking Hank. Reconcile with Lieutenant Anderson. I say. Alright, let's go hang out with Hank. Number five in the third. Lickety split. That Billy's one hell of a chaser. You wanna flood him? Last shit hot tip you gave me, sent me back a week's wages. Uh. <laughs> Come on, this is different. It's a hundred percent guaranteed. You can't go wrong. Yeah, right. Okay, scan. There's gonna be the option to scan if I can't scan anything. Eh? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, Connor is a good bean, dude. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, I'm turned man. away. Criminal record, illegal gambling, fraud. Dance. <laughs> I love how this picture's like so good back then. Drink. Hey, won't regret this. Ah. I like how he says I feel cute. Don't you ever do as you're told? Look, you don't have to follow me around like a poodle. But I'm a puppy. Uh, let's apologize for behavior. No, let's reconcile. I think our relationship got off on the wrong foot. <laughs> we should forget what happened and start over. What do you say? Look, they sent me a piece of plastic for a partner, and I'm dealing with it. But if you think we're going to be buddies, you're as stupid as you look. Aw, come on. There you go. A business owner. Hamburger. Extra large soda. Is there anything actually useful? Ah, oh, thanks, Gary. I'm stuck. Yeah, tank. We're good. Don't leave that thing here. Oh, not a chance. Follows me everywhere. Ah. See? See? All right, what are we gonna do? Cholesterol, the company, gambling. Let's talk about enjoy your meal. Enjoy your meal. Thank you. Uh, company. I don't want to alarm you, Lieutenant, but I think your friends are engaged in <laughs> activities. I don't alarm you. Everybody does what they have to to get by. As long as they're not hurting anybody, I don't bother them. All right. About Connor, Hank, and androids and deviants. What's about Connor? Is there anything you'd like to know about me? Hell no. Well, <laughs> yeah. Um, why do they make you look so goofy and give you that weird voice? <laughs> Yo, Some what the fuck? Are designed to work harmoniously with humans. That's my, that's my face. My and voice were specifically designed to facilitate my integration. Well, they fucked up. <laughs> Uh. Maybe I should tell you what we know about deviants. You read my mind. Proceed. We believe that a mutation occurs in the software of some androids, which can lead to them emulating a human emotion. In English, please. They don't really feel emotions. They just get overwhelmed by irrational instructions, which can lead to unpredictable behavior. Emotions always screw everything up. True. The androids aren't as different from us as we thought. <laughs> Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Absolutely not. Why do you hate androids so much? I have my reasons. You ever dealt with deviants before? One time. See, is that the guy in Jericho? A Did he was live? To jump off the roof with the little girl. I managed to save her. So I guess you've done all your homework, right? You know everything there is to know about me. Uh, we'll tell him the truth. I know you graduated top of your class. You made a name for yourself in several cases and became the youngest lieutenant in Detroit. I also know you've received several disciplinary warnings in recent years, and you spend a lot of time in bars. So what's your conclusion? Sincere. Let's be sincere. I think working with an officer with personal issues is an added challenge. <laughs> but adapting to human unpredictability is one of my features. <laughs> 
I just got a report of a suspected deviant. He wakes at him. Let's go. Away. You should go have a look. I'll let you finish your meal. I'll be in the car if you need me. I feel like I just gotta treat the interactions with Connor and Hank like I'm trying to hit on Hank. And then everything goes well. Hey, Connor. You run out of batteries or what? I'm sorry. I was making a report to the Cyberline. Uh, well, do you plan on staying in the elevator? No. I'm coming. <laughs> no. No. -uh. Hey, what do we know about this guy? Not much. Just that a neighbor reported that he heard strange noises coming from this floor. Uh, Nobody's supposed to be living here, but the neighbor said he saw a man hiding an L. Feathers. Pigeon. LED under his cap. Oh, Christ. If we have to investigate every time somebody hears a strange noise, we're going to need more cops. Hi, Jay. I got you, Arca. Drinky, drinky. Open up. Anybody home? Police. Open up, Detroit police. Stay behind me. Got it. Here. Going in. Going in. Fucking pigeons. What the fuck is this? Ugh. Jesus, this place stinks. Military jacket. RT. RT. Probably initials. He put his initials camp. in his jacket. That's something your mom does when you're in first grade. <laughs> Suspect cares for wild animals. So he's been feeding the pigeons. Um, open up. He doesn't he? He's an android. But this smells crazy like pigeon shit. But since he's an android, it doesn't smell probably, so it's probably fine. Clues. Urban farm poster. Poster corner, recycled paper. Is this like a hippie android? That'd be cool. Interesting. We don't want to know what's in the fridge. <laughs> yeah, the fridge would didn't have anything in it. Oh, it's Android book. The fuck is this? Is this like their Bible? Remember when we interrogated that one guy, and um, he was talking about their like God. But it's indecipherable. Yeah, this guy to go deviant just became like a. Oh, well, he pulled out his chip. Its LED is in the sink. Not surprised it was an android. No human could live with all these fucking pigeons. Did I just lick that? <laughs> Any idea what it means? RA9. 
Oh yeah, RE9, that was the name of it. 2,471 times. It's the same sign Ortiz's android wrote on the shower wall. Why are they obsessed with this sign? Looks like mazes or something. Mazes? Obsessive compulsive writing. Ooh, did he go up? You know, in the times we've dealt with androids before, they do like to go up in the attic to hide. Ooh. Let's reconstruct. Suspect was recently here. Holy <laughs> bell. Oh, no, that's what happened when we came here. He ran to the living room. Okay. Birdcage, his fucking head on it. Idiot. Suspect heard us enter. Suspect is still here. He went up. Classic uppies. Classic uppies technique. You know what I'm talking about, do you? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Chase it! What are you waiting for? Oh, fuck. I'm coming for you, bitch! Fast but risky, easy but slow. Now we go to Say for D2 or bounced. Go! Where is it? Uh, direct the crowd, let's go. Look out! Okay. Hell yeah. Where'd he go? There he is. Just on a fish. How we get out there? Oh, he's in the he's in the fucking thing. Uh, fast or risky? We gotta go fast or risky. At this point, we're too far behind. W fuck. Get back, you bitch. Oh, God damn, we're out. All right, we're kind of, we're keeping up. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Me, bitch. Counter mark two. Uh, 
Oh, save the soldier after the crowd. Let's go. I can't see him. Oh no! Hank! We gotta save Hank. Fuck. Oh shit! Oh shit! We had it! Fuck! It's my fault. I couldn't let Hank go. I should have been faster. You'd have caught it if it weren't for me. That's all right. We know what it looks like. We'll find it. Hey, Connor. Yeah, I know, right? Nothing. Damn, dude. I wonder if I could have if I could have saved both if I was faster. I should have taken the riskier ones, but. That was a fun scene, dude. That was a fun chase scene. That would be one I would love to play over a couple times. Who are you? Fugitives. Just like you. My name is Josh. I'm Simon. North. This is Jericho? It's a refuge for those who don't want to be slaves anymore. Free? And hiding just to stay alive, that's freedom to you? Humans hate us. Hiding is the only way we can survive. There is no safe place for those like us. If humans knew we were here, they'd kill us. I don't understand. I thought Jericho was a place where androids lived in freedom. We do live in freedom. It may not be what you hoped for, but here we have no master. We don't belong to anybody. I understand how you feel, but we have more freedom here than you ever did. Hmm. Be direct. Waiting in the dark for something to happen? That's not how I see freedom. You're lost. Just like the rest of us. We didn't ask for this. All we can do now is deal with it. You deal with it. Chat, is that the guy from the beginning of the, the game? You can stay with us as long as you want. It's just like a model that looks the same. Go and see Lucy. No, it's a different guy. Help you. Settle in, find Lucy, explore Jericho. They're like attracted to the flame like moths, chat. Hello, guy. Oh man, what happened to you? No. No, I don't. Well, I'm about to find out. Oh, no. What's your name? Marcus. I was glad to meet you, Marcus. Yo, ask in the chat for that Android, dude. Why 
Why are they lighting fires? Because fire's cool, dude. Can I reboot them? I don't think you can. No, I don't think you can. Yo, they made child androids? What the fuck? This is weird. They threw him out when they didn't want him anymore. He was living on the streets before we brought him here. They'll all shut down if we don't find a way to help them. To help them, we need blue blood and bio components. We salvage what we can from those who shut down. But there's never enough. So, how do they survive? They won't. They won't. They're slowly dying out. Alright, so I think like our thing here is we're gonna become like the leader of this robot camp. And we're gonna like make things better for them. Cause this sucks. Living in a boat dying. We gotta make um our dad proud. What was that guy's name? The wheelchair dude that we took care of us? Not in very good shape, am I? My diagnostic program isn't working. <laughs> I don't think it would have anything good to say anyway. What happened to you? Carl, yeah, Carl. They tied me to the back of a car. What the fuck? I think they wanted to have fun. I don't want to shut down. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I don't care if they're androids. If I saw someone doing that, I would beat their ass. They would get my little twink hand slapped across their face so hard. People do all this stuff to animals? That's so fucked up. What is wrong with people, dude? Is this Lucy? It's the Oracle. Lucy. Sit down. You will lead our people to freedom. Show me. Oh no. I'll stop the bleeding. It would be really cool not to feel pain. Drink this. Bro, I don't want to take this. There aren't there other androids that need this more than me. She's like, "Gotcha, bitch! That was poison." Now self destruct. You had it all, and you lost it all. You've seen hell, and now hell lives in you. Your heart is troubled a part of shadow and a part of light. Which will prevail. Your choices will shape our destiny.
Yo, this robot's cool as fuck. <laughs> Inside of you are two wolves. We're getting all the rocks. Oh, it's a tennis ball. How long have you been here? Four weeks, three days, eleven hours. When I escaped, there was nowhere else to go. Jared I wonder why. As good a place as any. Why she ran? I like her boots. Who found this place? Nobody knows anymore. Whoever he was, his body's probably lying somewhere on this boat. What was your function before coming here? What do you care? Oh, what the fuck? You resentful. If you came here for comfort, you came to the wrong place. All right, chill, bitch. Nice to meet you, too. Take her shoes? Yeah, I deserve to take her shoes now. She was mean to me. Light the beacons. Cyberlife Warehouse and Docks. So this was like a boat that was delivering components. That's why they stayed here. Calculating route. And we gotta go propose a plan to Simon. Well, we gotta light the last one, though. You want a crate? You want a dog crate? Proposed to Simon. I don't got a ring, dude. I'm a like a chump. Simon. Wake up. I know where we can find spare parts. Cyberlife warehouses in Detroit Harbor. They have everything we need. The docks are guarded. We can't just walk in there and take what we want. We can kill them. Humans will never let us. Which is why we won't ask permission. We don't have any weapons. And even if we did, none of us knows how to fight. We can steal what we need without fighting. We'll just get ourselves killed. Maybe. But it's better than waiting here to be shut down. I'm with you. Hell yeah. Maybe it's worth a try. Come on, man. You in? Okay. Yo, let's go. We got a crew. The heist is on, boys. The heist is on. Marcus hatched an egg. I mean, plan. We hatched a good one. We've hatched a plan. It's a Haruka egg. Yes. Oh god, this kid. This kid's gonna get me killed for 100% chat. Yeah, there's no way we make it to the end of the story without dying. Are you okay? We'll get some help here. As soon as we'll all be just a bad memory. This is where they told us to go? Luigi's Mansion? This is the place. Seems sketchy. Oh, 
All right, fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. What else are we gonna do? Hello, I'm a deviant android. I have a human child with me. Are you Zlatko? Who's asking? I was told you could help us. I don't know who told you that. You came to the wrong place. I'm sorry. Wait. We really need your help. Marquis are just redeemed daily. Aw, she's sympathetic for the kid. That's cute. Hi, Yori. Hey. Welcome in. Let me punch your card for you. Hope you're having a good day. Just woke up. Heck Come yeah. On. Don't be shy. I don't know if we can trust this man just yet. Luther, would you be so kind as to take these ladies' coats? Oh, don't be afraid of our big friend here. Luther is just another android that I helped. He keeps me company in this big, empty old house. Yo, is this like a human that just helps androids? Yo, this would be what I would do. Please. Make yourselves at home. Or is he an android? No, I don't think they'd make a fat, ugly android. No offense to this guy. I don't mean to be rude. I came across as insensitive. But the androids are supposed to be super pretty. How did you hear about me? An android. On the street, he said you could help us. I see. Deviant, huh? What about her? She's human. Well, well. And you want to find a safe place. Somewhere you can start a new life. That's the plan. I hear Canada is very lovely at this time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got the US. Daily punch. Open spaces. I have a blueberry welcome in. Have a punch. And no Android laws. Great place for a fresh start. Yes, that's... That's exactly what we want. Of course. Well, I can help you. But first, we have to get rid of your tracker. Tracker? Yeah. All androids are fitted with a tracking device to locate them at all times. I'll remove yours, and then you'll both be safe. Come on. Follow me. This seems sketchy. Uh, the little one can wait for us in the living room. No, she always stays with me. Of course. I don't fucking trust this dude. Right this way? I feel like he's trying to, like, scrap us for parts. Hey, everything we need is in the basement. In the basement? Bruh, this does not feel <laughs> This does not feel right. Hi, Oneko. How are you doing? Yo, he's got some weird Jesus stuff. That's never a good sign. You know, he didn't seem so keen as to let me in until he saw the kid. Maybe he's gonna scrap me and try to, like, sell the kid into human trafficking. You're gonna steal my parts? What the fuck? I'll do that. I have a feeling I'm gonna end up having to kill this guy. 
I'm in a killing mood right now, chat. I don't like this place. Yeah, neither do I, dude. Let's go. I have a bad feeling. Um, careful, Ria's comfort. Let's be careful. I know. I don't trust him either. We have to be careful. Oh yeah, a fucking a bunch of jail cells. Please excuse the mess. Can I just like run, dude? For my machines. Removing trackers is illegal, so I opted for discretion over comfort. I hope the little one isn't too scared. No, no, she'll be all right. That's good. Come on, Alice. This way, please. What was that? Checked on Alice. Oh, hey, the big guy's here. I have a feeling that gate's gonna be important. Okay, yeah, this is fucking really cool looking. I can't wait for this. If you could just stand over there. Oh my god. Well, <laughs> nice knowing you, chat. I should warn you, this could be quite unpleasant. Oh god. You know what's strange? What's up? For some unknown reason. Yep. The trackers seem to stop working in Deviance. Oh. That's why it's so hard to find them. So you didn't need to do this. So, actually, there's no reason to remove your tracker. What? But you said that... Yeah, the people believe what they want. You deviants are so naive. Oh, my God. They all come to me expecting me to help them. God damn. And I just reset and just them. redeemed daily punch. Sell them all. Or I keep them for my... Little experiments. What a crazy fuck. No, no I don't want to be reset. Let me go. Ah! Oh, Help me, kid. I forgot about the child. Um, lock it up. I'll deal with it later. Alice! Alice, no! Wow. A deviant that wants to be a mother. I hate this guy. That's, that's so sweet. Welcome that's in, so Ray. Deluded. Here's your punch. I think it's time we put you out of your misery. Oh no. Help me, Ray. Or help me, Alice. No, no. What can I do here? Help me, kiddo. That's what you get for having a dream. It always ends up the same way tears and disillusion. Oh, shit. Believe me, you're better off being erased and feeling nothing. No more pain. No more hopes dashed. God damn it. I almost envy you. Kara! Yeah, help me, kid, please. <laughs> oh, poor little Alice. Oh, looks help. like mommy doesn't remember you at all, huh? Looks like mommy's completely forgotten you. Kara, what happened to you? Help me. All right, that's enough. Come on. No. Yeah, bite him. Oh, fuck. You bit me. Bite him again. Teach you some manners, you little bitch. No, 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 no. Help. You. Help me, dude. Meet me in the living room. 
No, help me. Find a way to escape. We gotta get out of here, dude. This fuck. What'd that do? That didn't do me any fucking good. What'd that do? That didn't do me any good either. Yellow cable. Hi, Anonymous. Welcome in. Damn it. What about the green cable? One well, of these cables got work. There we go. Oh no, I ran out of time. Where did I get it? I think I ran out of time. Oh, it's like reminding me. The fuck is that? That weird fucking gremlin thing. Create a distraction. He erased her memory. No. This can't be happening. You have to remember. For her sake. He likes to play with us. Oh God. Creating monsters. For his amusement. But who's the real monster? Look what he did to us. Oh my god. You must remember who you are. Otherwise the little one will die. We gotta remember. How do we remember? Use your brain. Man, I can't believe how bad I fucked this up. I'm pretty sure there's a way to escape that and not lose my memory. Hydrate, hydrate. Alright, I got you guys. Figure out how to fucking get my memory back. Hydration helps with memory. Okay. Y'all are silly. What up, dude? Nice little hands.
Can I just bail? What's this? Oh, a mirror, huh? Remember. Remember. Should I open the door? That's probably bad if I open the door, right? Master's dinner's ready. Take it up to him. Save kid, please. We're gonna try, Arco. We're gonna try. I just cheered one bit. Save kid, please. Man, I don't like this part at all. Uh, just set it down on the table over there. What the fuck is he doing? Where's the girl? Where am I putting this? Over here. What a dinner, dude. Uh, get rid of that carcass. Uh, take it next door. It's forgotten the word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking account. That part. Fucking whore walked out on me for an account. Did you hear what I said? Yes, Lapko. Luther! Luther! Yes, Lapko. I should be done here in ten minutes or so. I'll have a look at the little one, see what I can do with it. Understood, Slako. Oh no, what I can do with her? One in ten minutes. Where am I bringing this stupid fucking thing? Next door. God, there's one crawling on the floor. What the fuck? Remember. What's this thing? It's a is that a dog or a bear?
Hi, bear. Can I pat him? Hi, buddy. We're gonna kill this guy with a bear. That's the strat. Well, it's a crack pipe. <clears throat> My name is Carl. We've almost, we've almost remembered. Where's this go? What are you doing here? Hello. Has the master authorized you to be here? Are you taking a bath? You must always obey the master. Oh yes, you must always obey. You should not be here. You have should no not be here. here. No, you have no business here. If you have no orders, you should go on standby. Oh yes, you must obey. Yes, you must obey. Yes. Hmm. Damn, we don't have much time, dude. I need to remember quicker. So there's those doors. What's this door? A quick time for a read. Think anything here will help me remember. Oh yeah, it's me. Hell yeah. Alice. We remembered. We gotta find her now. I don't know where she is. I can escape here. Is that what this is? The escape route? A Detroit supermarket was held up at oh, this is more to help me remember. Oh, we lowered public opinion of androids with that. Oops. All right, we don't have much time. We gotta figure this out, dude. There she is. Come on, we gotta go. I found a bear. He'll help. Cara, you remember me. How could I forget you? I'm so sorry. You were right. We never should have come here. We have to go. Yeah, no Bye. shit. We have to go. Last time. Not go. What? The little one is gone. Well, I can't have just disappeared. Gotta be here somewhere. Let's to the corridor. I don't want to go that way. For? Go look. Shit. Where are they? Luther! Find them for fuck. Um, where can we Set. hide? Oh. 
get in here. Army, I just cheered one bit. Save Kate. Yes. Nothing. Trouble. Oh, we grab my gun. Now what? Do I only got 30 fucking seconds to escape? Yeah, go this way. Oh fuck, we gotta go this way, I guess. You disobey the master. Shut the fuck up. You disobey the master. I, 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 I can't let you do that. I must warn him. Where's the bear? We need the bear, dude. I know you're there, you sneaky bitch. Oh no. Show yourself. Get a flashlight. There's one on the table. Find next time, please. Come on, show yourself. Look, I'm not gonna. I only want to talk with you. Fuck, come on, bear. Bear, help me. Oh, Jesus. More hide and seek for you. Yeah, bear! Get him, bear! No, bear! They're over there! Oh, shit, we gotta go. Come on. Oh shit. So stressful. The door, dude. Front door. No! no! Back door. Back door. We gotta go. No! Alice, get off! Go, Alice! No! I won't leave! Go! Run as fast as you can! I warned you! Fuck. Dreams always end in tears. You should have listened to me. What are you doing? Get out of my way. No. Oh, he's deviant. This time. I said, get out of my way or I'll shoot right through you. Yeah. How dare you. Blast him, dude. Blast him. How dare you. What are you doing? Who let you out? <laughs> get away from me. Who you for shooting the bear? Get away from me. Obey me. I'm your master. I'm your master. Yeah, get him. <laughs> Ah, yes, I'm feeling better. Jesus. Thanks, bro. Kind of a shotgun. I didn't want to hurt you. I know. He programmed me to obey him. When I saw the little one risk her life to save you, it was like opening my eyes for the first time. Aww. Finally, I could see. I know you have no reason to trust me after what I did. But I know someone who could help you across the border. I could take you there. I could protect you. You and the little one. All right. I 
trust you. Yo, he's a good addition to our team, dude. <laughs> we now have a tank for our party, yes. God, dude, what a mess. What a mess this one was. Look at all these times we could have probably gotten fucked up. The bear saved our ass here, by the way. We got spotted and the bear saved us. I think we did pretty good there. It looks like there's probably a lot of spots we could have lost. Bro, if only if only we kept our memory and we took the top path. Look at how much shit we could have avoided. It looks like no matter what, though, we ended up in this chase scene. Soon as we find Alice, this shit goes down. Although it looks like most shit ends up in getting spotted. Dude, look how close I was to not getting spotted. Out of, like, all the different ways to get spotted, I got spotted on the last thing. All I would have had to do is not fuck that up, and I probably would have gotten here and here. And then I would have just gotten out. I would have reached the stairs. We actually survived, though. Hey, Phoenix, welcome, man. Let me get your punch. Yeah, we got Luther, though. Uh, we're back here. We're not dead this time we're here, so that's positive. How far am I? Um, With Marcus, we just got to Jericho. And um, we convinced them that we need to go raid like a shipyard for parts. Um, with, with Kara, we just um, escaped Mad Monster Mansion and got Luther. And I don't remember what we were doing with Connor last. We were just hanging out with the lieutenant guy, basically. Learning about him and shit. Oh, we were investigating the pigeon guy. That's right. Pigeon, dude. We did. So we managed to save the kid. Yeah, I like Hank a lot. I like Hank a ton. I think Carl was my favorite. I really liked Carl. I hope we get to see him again. Most of my Connor playthrough has been me trying to like get good with uh get good with Hank. I ship him and him and Connor. I don't trust this Amanda character, not one bit. Not one bit. I said Hank was cool and she got mad. Hello, Amanda. Connor, I've been expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Uh oh, she's pissed. Um, pragmatic, explain. No excuses. I have no excuse. I should have been more efficient. Did you manage to learn anything? Um. The diary? I found its diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? It was fascinated by birds. <laughs> birds! Which interested in other life forms, like 
Hydrate? Okay, hard cuts. But nothing like this. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with Lieutenant developing? He seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this, whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Amanda hates me. That's fine. I don't like Amanda either. I have a feeling at some point we're going to get the choice to go deviant with Connor, and I'm totally going to do it. Hank friend, dude. We made a friend. Hank's cool now. Is this his house? Oh shit. Lieutenant hey. Anderson. I'm coming, Hank. Easy sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. We're here to save him. Gonna hang? You crazy boy? What are you doing? Drinking too much? Is a gun in your hand? Some uh, scotch whiskey. The black lamb. A uh, bullet. One bullet and a revolver. Cheery situation. Arrhythmia, but no trauma. Uh, traces of alcohol. Lieutenant. Ethylemic coma? Is that just the word for being passed out drunk? Blacked out drunk? I'm going to sober you up for your own hey, safety. I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, my God. Take him to the bathroom. All right. You got you to gotta drain the Shut old up. lizard? Attack. <laughs> Good job. Attack! Fuck, Sumo attack. Be sick. I got you. Throw in the bathtub. Ah, oh, leave me alone, you asshole. I'm not going anywhere. Come on. In the tub. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> uh. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> for your own good. Sober you up, my buddy. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> the homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. 
I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Uh... Unfortunately, I cannot. I've been programmed to investigate this case, and I can't do it without you. I don't give a shit about your goddamn case. Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here! <laughs> Let's tease him. I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some. <laughs> There's some clothes in the bedroom there. I'll go get them. He had some stickers on the screen. I was wondering what they said. Can I see these? Well, what's that say? Something or not? I can't read them. Where's his clothes? All right, let's get his clothes. Let's get this man with? dressed. Whatever. Hippie, stripy, streaky. Hmm. Let's go with streaky. Being a little streaky. <coughs> yeah, get it out. Are you all right, Lieutenant? <coughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. Just uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. <laughs> give me five minutes, okay? <laughs> I know, it certainly doesn't make you want to drink, does it? Um, I don't think this book's going to help me learn more about him. Let's do something else. Maybe better use of our time for this. Alright. What's in here? The puppy. Hi, Sumo. Good dog. Thanks for not attacking me. Hank loves jazz. Blues, Michigan Brothers. Hank loves jazz. We've established this. He also likes food. What's this? Wait, is a kid? Oh, his kid's dead? So that's why he's so depressed. Sorry about your window, Hank. Sorry about the window, Lieutenant. I really thought you'd been attacked. Of course, Cyberlife will pay for the damage. Yeah, trust me, I've been my bill. <laughs> Question about this? 
I'm not gonna say anything. Hank has suicidal tendencies. Looking good. And puppers. Dog, Sumo. I won't be long. Well, we found out his kid's dead. He likes jazz, and he wants to kill himself. We missed something. I think we missed a couple things, actually. The Eden Club. Isn't the Eden Club the thing we saw all those ads for early on? The Android Sex Club? I bet one of those androids that works in the Sex Club probably got fucking, like, abused or some shit. That's no good. So I, I had a I wanted to do a thing when I played today, and I wanted to leave off on a Connor, because I think Connor's like the most interesting. So I think we're gonna leave off on Detroit Becomes Human here. But chat, even though normally I would have ended right now, probably stream, that we had the wheel spins earlier today. So we're gonna be going late for the stream. So for our YouTube viewers, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been part two of Detroit Become Human. Hope you guys are enjoying it. This today was insane. There are a lot of cool scenes. I really like the Connor chase. And I really liked escaping Mad Monster Mansion. I did not like the mansion though. That whole scene was fucking creepy. And I'm not excited about, <laughs> about that even existing. But um But yeah, it's been fun today. I'm interested to see honestly right now I'm most interested in what Marcus is gonna get up to. So his uh his stuff has like a lot of potential. I hope he's like some kind of leader of some android revolution or something cool like that again my goal my goal in each playthrough is this right now marcus i want to lead an android revolution connor i want him to go i want him to become a deviant and like in the end i don't want him to like help amanda or whatever and then kara the whole thing with her is i want the kid to live dude i want us to escape with the kid i want that one to be like a happy ending so that's my goals for these playthroughs Again, we'll be back next week, uh, same time with more Detroit Become Human. And for those watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, hit the button, follow so you're here next time. And uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye, YouTube. Bye.